All right, example one of solving exact equations. So we have the quantity negative 3x squared minus y dx plus the quantity 3y squared minus x dy. So we'll just make a note of what our m is and what our n is. So here our m is this expression here. So m is equal to negative 3x squared minus y. And then our expression n the dy term here, so we have 3y squared minus x for n. So remember the first thing we want to do is we want to check exactness. And the way we do that is we make sure that the partial of m with respect to y is equal to the partial of n with respect to x. All right, partial of m with respect to y, the first term is a constant. So we get nothing from there. Derivative with respect to negative y would give us negative 1. Partial of n with respect to x. So again, the first term, y is a constant, remember, so we get nothing out of that term. Derivative with negative x there with respect to x is going to give us negative 1. So these are equal to each other, so that means this equation is exact. So we can use the steps to solve it, finding the potential function. We need to integrate m in terms of x. So if we do that, the first term becomes a, so we integrate negative 3x squared. In terms of x, we get negative x cubed. We integrate negative y with respect to x, we get minus xy. And then it's possible we could have some constant terms which are really in terms of y because that's our variable that we're treating as constant when we're looking at m. So now integrating n dy which means we're treating x as a constant. So if we look at n over here 3y square and we integrate that dy we're going to get y cube minus x if we integrate negative x with respect to y we get minus xy plus possibly some constant type terms involving x. Okay, so we want to make sure that our potential function here then includes all of my terms located here, includes all of my terms located here. So we'll go ahead and make sure that we write down the negative x cubed term. We can write down plus y cubed, and then they both have a minus xy. We only need to include that once, not multiple times, equal to some constant. And since we have multiple y terms here, I think we'll probably leave this and not solve this directly for y. So there's our solution. Negative x cubed plus y cubed minus xy equals c, answer to our exact equation.